So I'm no different to anyone else in that, except that my subject happened to be <laughs> pickpocketing. This is James Friedman. He is a master pickpocket. He's the only person to have picked the pockets of the mayor of London, even King Charles himself. Instead of being one of the bad guys, James Friedman considers himself a professor, and his classroom is the theater. James said that he could easily use his skills to be a bad guy, but he prefers to use it for good over evil. So I was walking along, and I saw a woman with a bag over her shoulder, like an open Birkin-style bag, I think they're called, with a big purse sticking out. And this would have been about late 1980s, because I was in my first uh, post-university job. and. If I stop to tell everyone all the time, by the way, your rucksack's open, backpack's open, by the way, you know, you think I wouldn't have time to do anything else. I mean, they're, they're so numerous. Um, but I was watching thinking that purse is ripe for picking. She was walking in front of me in the same direction. Someone walked in the other direction towards her and stole the purse. He actually, technically, he swiped it. And all those um, words for stealing, to swipe something, to pick something, to lift something, to dip, they're all very descriptive words for different techniques. So he swipes it and he kind of passed it around his body and put it into the pocket of quite an expensive overcoat. And he was now, I don't know, 10 yards ahead of me, something like that, walking towards me. And instinctively and very stupidly, I bumped him and took it out of his pocket um, and ran after the woman to return it. It was really stupid because he could have had a knife or he, you know, it, it just wasn't a smart thing to have done. I should have got a description and reported it. But I gave it back to the woman with the words, you've just had your pocket picked, here's your purse. And of course she thought I was the thief and screamed and <laughs> screamed and screamed. Uh, seemed like a long time. And when she calmed down, I explained, no, someone else had taken it and I'd seen it and picked his pocket to get it back, which must have sounded so far-fetched to her. She took this thing and went on her way. And almost as soon as she left, I felt this hand on my shoulder, like a bunch of bananas in a death grip. And it was the guy who had stolen it. And he was... To say he wasn't happy is an understatement. He was really annoyed with me and angry. He insisted that we went for a little walk, as he put it. And he, I was on my way to work. And he took me sort of through a place, Hans Road and Basil Street and kind of the back doubles behind Harrods. Um, first kind of, you know, frog marching me. And then as we spoke, you know, let go of me but I was finding it kind of slightly scary at the beginning but fascinating he was cross because he thought I was working his patch that was the first thing honor amongst thieves uh then um I said th then he was cross but that I hadn't done it properly and I said well I got it he said yes but I knew then he tried to recruit me I said he I mean in due course I said look you could have a job that was legit on entertaining people with this and I remember he said, no, no, I couldn't have people watching me. I watch people. 